Hey there, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some exciting cricket news coming your way. Get ready to dive into the details of the upcoming SA20 tournament and how it's causing a bit of a clash in South African cricket. So, mark your calendars because the second edition of the SA20 is set to kick off from January 10th to February 10th, 2024. But hold on a second, there's a twist. It's going head-to-head -head with South Africa's two-test series in New Zealand, which starts with a warm-up match on January 29th. Yep, you heard that right, we've got a scheduling showdown. Now, here's the scoop. The SA20 is mostly owned by Cricket South Africa, and they've got a rule that players have to fulfill their SA20 franchise contracts before national duty. What does that mean? Well, players who are gearing up for the tournament won't be available for the New Zealand tour. Bummer, right. Picture this, South Africa's test team will be missing some big names. Test captain Temba Bevuma, opening batter Aidan Markram, and a whole bunch of other talented players like Ryan Rickelton, Heinrich Klaassen, Rassi van der Dussen, all-rounder Wyan Mulder, and even their frontline attack featuring Kajizo Rabada, Lungi and Jitty, and more. Phew, that's quite a list. And guess what? There's more action on the horizon. There's an auction on September 27th, and after that, even more players might jump on the SA20 bandwagon. So, South Africa could be fielding a slightly weakened test team for the World Test Championship in New Zealand. Tough decisions ahead, my friends. CSAS CEO, Paul Simoski, made it crystal clear, Protea players in the SA20 will not be going to New Zealand. The focus is on the SA20, and the test squad will be handpicked by Shukri Conrad, the test coach, after the auction. It's all about balancing priorities here, folks. Speaking of priorities, the clash between the SA20 and the New Zealand tour isn't exactly ideal, according to Saw League Commissioner Graham Smith. But the league is all about delivering an epic four weeks of competition. They've even shaken things up this season with a more balanced schedule. Unlike last time, where they had to juggle venues due to other events, this season each franchise gets a home match in the first week. Plus, there are some exciting changes to the playoffs. We're talking about a knockout structure that's as intense as the IPL. Oh, and here's a tidbit for you. Weekday matches will be standalone events, and you can catch those double headers on series. Sunday matches. A kickoff at 3 p.m. local time, so you can soak up the cricket goodness before the work week begins. But wait, there's more. The SA20 action starts just three days after India wraps up its all-format tour of South Africa, including the New Year's test. So, prime cricketing action is in store for January, a perfect way to start the year with a bang. Initially, there were plans to avoid clashes with international fixtures during the SA20. But, you know how things go, sometimes plans change. Last time, they had to accommodate a COVID-19 postponed World Cup Super League series against England. This time, they even reached out to New Zealand about shifting the tests, but no luck. No negotiations, it seems. So, cricket fans, gear up for an action-packed January with the SA20 and keep an eye out for those exciting matchups. As always, stay tuned to the channel for more cricket updates and all things sports. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, keep those cricket vibes alive.